What has been the most challenging part just on the, on the rehab and the recovery to come back? I know you've gone through this before. I mean, what did you learn the first time and what's been challenging this time around? The most challenging part is just like, you know, you know, seeing the guys, you know, do what I love and just like, you know, being on the sideline, you know, supporting. I mean, I love supporting the guys, but just like, you know, that um, aspect of football taken away from me, again, is the most challenging part that I have to deal with every day. But being stronger mentally, it's something that I've been trying to develop, you know, because you're going to you're gonna need to be stronger mentally, you know, throughout your whole life. So this um, taking this time to just like working on my mental piece and knowing it's going to be OK for the future, focusing on what I can control, controlling what I can only can control and just taking it on. I mean, loving the guys even more the days that I come in and I'm like, dang, I want to be out there. Just love the guys even more, you know, supporting the guys. And we have a good group of guys and I love them. And we're going we're gonna to be good coming this fall. But that's been the most challenging thing and just, like, you know, watching them do things that I love because I have a passion for the game and just, like, watching them, you know, you know do it day in, day in, day out. But they've been putting in some good work, you know, and I feel like, you know, we're going to be really good. Hey, Gabe, to go back to the, to the injury last fall, did it catch you by surprise at all that the diagnosis was as serious as it was and, and you know, that you, need, you were going to have to miss the rest of the year? I remember, remember talking to you after that game and – Seemed like you know you were maybe okay at the time. When, when you look, I'm sure you learned pretty quick. And what was that like for you to digest? Yeah, I mean, I, th I mean, going back to that game, I really thought. I mean, we went into the tent, um, and Coach EJ and the athletic trainer, Coach uh, Chris, was there, and it was like, oh, I mean, it just seems like a pull, you know, hip flexor pull. And I'm like, yeah, I mean. But it, I mean, it, it didn't feel like a pull, you know. I was just trying to keep positive vibes, keep positive energy, and. The next day, I came back in the training room, and we got an MRI on it, and that's when we found out it was more serious than what it was. And I mean, it just you know, I just I mean, memories just brought back to freshman year where I hurt my knee, and I mean, it's just one of those season-ending injuries that I have to deal with. But I me, mean, I'm going on forward, and not going to think about that. You know, I'm control what I can control. You know, keep positive energy, positive vibes, and I'm just going to keep on going because I'm not going to let that stop me. Like that's not going to stop me. What or what who has uh, helped you the most through that process? Um, really the um the psychologist, Dr. Brett, when she was here, when she was here, um, I used to talk to her, you know, weekly, and just. You know, trying to, you know, build up my mental standpoint because, you know, that can take a toll on it. But, I mean, just doing, keeping my mental right and a lot of stretching, <laughs> a lot of stretching, a lot of yoga, a lot of good spiritual and, you know, all of that positive stuff. How is your rehab going? Rehab? What does that look like? Right now. Rehab is going good, you know, just doing rehab every day and when the mix of I'm out there doing um, individual drills and just helping out with the guys, but rehab is doing good. I mean, yoga, a lot of yoga, a lot of stretching, a lot of active recovery, and just really emphasizing the rehab standpoint. Does the, uh, the access to the new facilities that you have over there do a lot for you in your in your rehab oh yeah I mean we have we have a lot of different new resources that we use and it's a matter of use it you know and I mean we have a lot of tubs a lot of you know sleep pods and a lot of stuff in the new training room that we can use um, to get you right and the, um, the athletic training staff is really good you know they're really intentional in what they want to come across and you know I'm trusting them you know it's a process but you know at the end of that road it's gonna be really good Ramirez been through some stuff himself with the injuries during his career. Do, does it? Do you help each other get through that? Oh yeah, me and Ramir, you know, we we always talk to each other about this whole thing, and we always try to you know lift each other up through this whole thing because I mean this is hard, you know, college football is hard. Going through injuries, going through down times, and that's hard to overcome. And all you have to think about is the process and what it's going to look like, you know, in the future and. It's gonna be it's, it's gonna be a bright future, but you know, going through these things right now is only gonna make us tough. You know, we we're gonna be some you know some tough people at the end of this because you know we've been through you know like we've been through the down times, we've been through the suck, we learned how to embrace the suck, and it's gonna it's gonna be bright. You know, at the end, end of the tunnel. What do you think of uh, Emmett when 
it was that week both you and Ramir got announced out. He steps in and how he how he's done with it. Emma, Emma's a great dude. He's a great kid, and he needed that in his career, you know, to um, have that experience because now he's taken off with it. You know, he needed to go through that time where he was the guy and he was the he was the dude because now, I mean, he, he just got it now. And we, we love him for that because, I mean, you're going to need to, you know, become that dude one day and that, you know, that quarter, uh, quarter horse. But, yeah, Emmett really, take, really took a huge jump, and you can tell that he um, he went through that season because now, you know, he's firing, you know, and I love it, you know. So when we all come as a group, it's going to be something special. Gabe, with everything you've been through over the past few years, how do you see the game of football differently now than you did when you arrived on campus? Man, when I was a, when I was a true freshman coming in here, I mean, I just, you know, I was a young cat, you know, I just try to, you know, do what I can and just like, you know, go back to my old ways from high school and lead into the freshman year. But now, I mean, everything's just slowed down now. Like, I really see it, you know, I really, you know, know the game of football, know the schemes, know the fronts, know the reads. I mean, it's just all slowed down now. And I'm just using my ability, you know, trying to get right, trying to get healthy. And I mean, it's going to be special. When do you when do you expect that you'll be able to you know, do the things you need to do to to get in pads and, and practice? Uh, how, do, how does your, your summer ahead look? I, I mean, I'm, I'm in pads right now. You know, I'm going through the individual drills, like in Indy. That's what we call it in practice, and you know, going through those things, and I feel good. You know, they just, you know, really just trying to take precaution. You know, trying to get me even more healthy. And summer I'm gonna be rolling. Fall camp I'm be there. You know, I'm be rolling, and season be rolling. Just from your view, how, what was different about this spring, just a year two spring with Matt Rule as far as guys being comfortable and how you guys structured things? I mean, you know, we're, we're adapted to the system and how they operate. And I feel like, you know, we're just, you know, taking a taking a jump from last year because, you know, it's a new staff and trying to figure out how they are and, and how they do things and don't really, really know. And now we know, you know, and now we're just like, you know, embracing that process that they're instilling because that process is – it's really good. Coach Rule and the staff, they know what they're doing. And you can tell they know what they're doing. And we're really just buying in, you know, to the process. Coach Rule talks about that every day, buying into the process. Because, I mean, it's a hard process. It's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. But, you know, he really building us, you know, for the next level. He building us for that, um, for that next structure in life. You know, not only to be a player, but to be a man. You know, they're building us to become great group of um, young men to, you know, take a toll in life. As they grow, what do you think the potential of this offense could be with those, with those freshman quarterbacks? Say it again? As, as those freshman quarterbacks grow, um, what do you think the potential of the offense can be? Man, I mean, the potential right now is already good. I mean, all the quarterbacks are pushing each other. I mean, from Heinrich to I'm not it's not it's not a depth chart, but I'm just naming the quarterbacks. Heinrich to Danny to Dylan. I mean, they all pushing each other to be great, and it's it's, it's kind of like special looking at it because I mean you're seeing stuff that I mean Heinrich Heinrich you know doing great and Dylan doing great, Danny doing great. You know they are pushing each other outside their comfort zone, and eventually you got a great QB room. You know everybody got unbelievable unbelievable talent, and it's just special looking at. Iron sharpening iron and people getting better. I mean, that's what you want in a football room, in a QB room. Thanks, you. Thank you. Thank you.